We've talked a lot about the drastic changes coming to college basketball. The NBA's G League continues to emerge and things like name, image, and likeness compensation, immediate eligibility for transfers. That's all on the table. Tom, do you think Kentucky can thrive in that changing landscape? Oh, I think Cal will find a way to thrive anytime the you change the rules of the game. It's probably uh, right in his wheelhouse because um, he, uh, he'll find a way to have Kentucky um, take advantage of whatever opportunities are there. So, yeah, I think they'll be fine. Certainly taking advantage of that uh, transfer rule. Oh, he yeah. loves that one already, so uh, that's good, too. Now let's jump now to the NBA, and Keldon Johnson has joined a list of some impressive talent as he becomes only the third San Antonio Spur to rack up 700 points and 330 rebounds in his first 60 games. Hmm. Meanwhile, Boogie Cousins is returning to Los Angeles, this time to play for the Clippers, and for now on a 10-day contract. The other two guys that uh, did that for the Spurs, Tim Duncan and David Robinson. So if Keldon's on a list that has those two as the other names, that is great company to be in. <laughs> and uh, I always root for DeMarcus, so uh, I hope this works out well for him. And you know, he goes to a, a team that uh, I'd love to see him you know, get, uh, get a shot at uh, being able to play once the playoffs roll around. Now, Tom, we can't leave you without talking a little UK football. What are your thoughts on the spring practice session, and particularly for the quarterbacks? Really wish that we'd be able to see a, a spring game this year. I understand why they're not because of all the things with the coronavirus that are going on over in the UK campus there around Kroger Field. But I uh, would love to see this new offense in action under a game situation. So we'll have to wait till the fall. Uh, all the focus can be on the quarterbacks. I love everything I'm hearing so far. Uh, we're we're going to see one more quarterback added to the mix this summer. So I'm really just kind of waiting. I think one of the more interesting things is to see what the depth chart looks like if they release one at the end of spring. Mm. And, and, you know, when you talk about this team, you talk to Coach Stoops a lot. I mean, he's not going to get excited unless he really is excited. And, and he seems to be about this team that he's seeing in the spring. Yeah, he is. Um, and. I, I think there's no reason that he uh, to be anything but excited with you look at the offensive line they have coming back, you know, with Kennard being a little bit of a surprise still being there. You got maybe the best running back in the SEC. You've got Wandell Robinson coming in to lead the receiving core. Ali, Rig, unexpected guys to come back. Uh, Ruffalo, I mean, that, this thing with uh, having that extra year to come back and play another year, I think could really be a boon for Kentucky football with some mm -hmm. of those guys. And then the offense or hearing such good on defense excuse me hearing such good things about McCall in the middle of the defense and um, I uh, I think there's a lot of reason to be excited you just I, I think what will seal it is finding out who the quarterback is and then seeing the level of play that they can get to at that position Tom we're always excited to talk to you thanks for joining us Hey guys. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll turn our attention to Kentucky softball. And we'll have highlights from the Cats' weekend series against that ugly orange team when we return. <laughs>